Hello everybody, today is August 22nd, 2021, which means that I've only got a few more days left of my 30-day challenge. So today I thought we would continue our examination of the Queen Helga army, and I want to show you some of the old dwarf warriors that I built from the Battle of Skull Pass that just so happened to be in the Helga colors. So without further ado, let's go down and check them out. Today we're going to be looking at 12 of the Battle for Skull Pass Dwarf models that came out in Warhammer 7th edition. Now I built and painted these models a very very long time ago and the paint colors that I used on here were testers paints and as you can see I've got some green metallic in here down below. The yellow color is zinc oxide and then I've got some testers flat green on the crosses in here on their sleeves. Now I had these models long before I had Queen Helga and when Queen Helga came around I did paint her green and these guys just sort of tied into that whole army scheme so I've been using them as warriors for Queen Helga ever since. One thing I do like about these models is the excellent chain mail that Games Workshop has put into the backs of them which ended up painting really nicely and I do believe I did use a dry brush technique in here just to highlight them all up. Here we have the command crew with our unit champion, our standard bearer or icon bearer, and our musician. And these are all one piece models, which means that they're molded as one solid unit, and then they slot into these square bases. So you can tell that this is from a very long time ago, because in Age of Sigmar, of course, we're using the round bases. Here's our command crew again, and as you can see, they have the hammer and the anvil pattern on their shields which is quite different from the flying hammer that I've given the other 40 block of Queen Helgar warriors. And from the back you can see the excellent leather pouches and leather gloves that I've painted onto these guys just to make them look quite unique. One thing that is interesting about these one pose models is they actually gave you three different styles. So here we have the helmet with the long horns on it, the helmet with no horns, and the helmet with the short horns. And each of them again is carrying that shield with the hammer striking the anvil and the spark shooting out. And then again, as you can see, I've painted them all basically in the same style. One other thing to note is that the bases are also flocked with some of that grass stuff that I have. And then here you can see again that nice chainmail on the models, as well as the leather pouches and boots and gloves that they all carry. So in the Battle for Skull Pass set, you actually got three of each type of warrior, as well as the three that unique ones that made up the command crew. So if you've built these warriors in the past, let us know how you enjoyed building and painting them. Also tell us about your great adventures that you had with these dwarves and how well they performed in your battles. And we would like to see your builds over on our Facebook page. Check out the link in the description below to find out where to send them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my painted Queen Helgar Dwarf Warriors from the old Battle for Skull Pass set. And if you have built these model kits in the past, please show us your pictures over on our Facebook page, and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. All right, don't forget to check out all our latest Warhammer models that are now available at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound the notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to see it. And until next time, everyone, happy wargaming.